Yeah. You've seen aliens, come on. <laughs> what? That's okay. It's refreshing. <laughs> How is everybody today? Doing great. Doing great. So far, so good. Good, 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 good. What are we going to do? How is life back in the world of V yet again? How? It never leaves you, does it? No, V, you're always, you're always, that's the thing about making films is that um, uh, one, of, one, of the, one of the contrasts between film and stage, I just, I just returned from uh, uh, this past year, I just played Macbeth uh, at the Southern Shakespeare Festival's uh, production of, uh, of that same play of, of Macbeth. And the thing about being on live stage is that when the production's over, it's over. It just vanishes into the ether and nobody ever sees it again. And it's, it, it's even easy for the actor to uh, forget the resonance of that, no matter how much uh, uh, research or, or, or rehearsal uh, went into it. But with, uh, with a filmic character like Mike Donovan, like V, something like that, there's always uh, uh, there's always the rerun of it. There's always a reprise of it someplace, and then there's always the chance that there's going to be another whole production in which Mike Donovan shows up again. So, being back here and and uh, re-experiencing uh, the self-identity with with Donovan is uh, is is sort of part and parcel of the film industry, I think. Yeah. What do you think it is about? Nobody ever accused me of a short answer. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really would love to be able to say pithy things, but I can't. What do you think it is about a V that's resonated over all the, the decades? Is there something specific? Uh, I think there, I think there, there are a lot of things that that conspire to make uh, V uh, relevant over the over the succeeding generation since its first uh, filming, and one of them is just, I mean, let's let's. Let's be honest. One of them just is it's an adventure story of during do, and everybody likes to see the hero leap from tall buildings at a single bound and knock down the bad guy and ride off into the sunset with the girl, and everybody loves to see that kind of stuff. And I certainly enjoy portraying that. Um, uh, but beyond that, I think the the story of V, which is the drawing together of all portions of community so that we all recognize and celebrate the plurality of the, of the, of the world that we all inhabit. That world that Neil Armstrong said that he could hide behind his thumb uh, when looking out of Apollo 11, right? That he could, he could hide the entire world, all of us, right behind his thumb. We're all in this together. And I think that's, uh, that's one of the aspects of V, I think, that keeps it relevant. So, um, so V to me, because I grew up when watching this, uh, you know, and tell my age. But um, the thing that I was curious about was this was my Star Trek. Right. You know, right. how is it for you to be a part of something like this that has been like part of sci-fi history <laughs> and become such an icon in it? You know, it 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 it, it fulfills uh, the uh, the dream, the Hollywood dream for any actor. Um, when I was a kid, uh, everything was westerns. It was the Lone Ranger and uh, Roy Rogers and Hopper and Cassidy was all this. So for me, one day I'm walking along the street and I'm Mark Singer, and the next day I'm Mike Donovan. And uh, I, am, uh, I am fulfilling that desire that I had as a kid to be a television hero, to be a filmic hero. Uh, I didn't realize that that the demands, uh, emotionally, intellectually, morally, um, all those demands would resonate within me in order that the character uh, be as honestly portrayed as it could. And I didn't, I, I think I learned a great deal, uh, not just about filmmaking, uh, but about filmmakers, about what it takes to, uh, to bring something like that actually to the screen. Uh, what kind of metal uh, it, it calls for from the producers, the writers, the directors, and, and the performers. So it was a, the, the button, I guess, to, to this is that it, it was the fulfillment of a, of a dream to become, uh, to portray that character. Yeah. Can you talk well, about um, the first time you saw the V script, like what was your reaction to it? How, how did I'm you, sorry, do that again, the what? The first time you saw the script to the oh. miniseries, what was your reaction to it? Uh, what was the process to get the role? When I first read the script, um, 
the, of course, the immediate effect was that the writing was terrific and the story was terrific. That's the, that's the first two things that hit you, strike you immediately. Um, but the, the process of getting the role was, was really uh, almost as though it was meant to be. Ken Johnson read my part to the network for me and then hustled me out of the room before I could say a word. So uh, the, the role was conferred upon me in the old-fashioned way that it used to be done back in the golden days of the silver screen, which is that the auteur selected somebody beforehand and said, that's going to be my Mike Donovan, and ran it right through the network, and there I was. Why he uh, wanted you in particular? He had seen me on stage uh, performing in Shakespeare in The Taming of the Shrew, something that's still available, by the way, on DVD. Um, and uh, 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 blow my own horn for a brief moment. I, I was, <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I received the, the, the Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award for that performance as Petruchio, Taming the Shrew. So he saw that. Uh, and then he also had seen me in a, in a film that I made called The Beastmaster. And when he saw those two things, he said, okay, that's my guy, that's who I want. And so. He, uh, so he's a point. mix of Patricio and Beastmaster? You're not far <laughs> off in saying that. Those, those roles both underpin the character of Mike Donovan. Um, uh, I was for uh, a requisite number of years while on the, on the live stage, I was basically a character actor. I was playing King Lear and Shylock and, and uh, 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 Antonio and all these different people in, in different plays. Um, uh, but um, it, it takes a special outlook uh, to produce the image and characteristics, uh, uh, personality characteristics of what we think of as heroic on the screen. And I was very fortunate uh, to be sort of schooled in this when I was playing the Beastmaster uh, in association with a director named Chuck Bale, B-A-I-L, Chuck Bale. Uh, and I actually... Uh, asked him uh, on one of the earliest days of our filming of The Beastmaster, I took him aside and asked him, I said, look, I've got to do this character that is supposed to respond through the movie in a certain set of ways, and I don't know how to make those choices correctly. Can you help me? And he said, yeah, we can do that. And he's the one who schooled me. He was one of the originators of the, uh, he was one of the founding members of the uh, Stuntmen's Association. Uh, uh, so uh, his his knowledge of filmmaking and his expertise was, uh, was, uh, it, was it is uh, 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 very deep and broad, and so I was very, very fortunate to be taught that way. Hey, yeah. Hello again. Hello. Um, so they brought you back for the reboot or whatever. Right. Uh, I don't know if you were playing Mike Donovan or what, but right. the question is, did you know where that character was going before they pulled the plug? Because to me, the show was getting, got really interested when you showed up, and then right. they pulled the plug on us. Right. I, <laughs> I appreciate that, that, uh, that, that you say that it got interesting, interesting when I showed up. It's, it's, uh, I hope that's in a good way. I'm, I, um, uh, uh, I just know that I had, I had no idea where the character was uh, supposed to go. I'm not certain that they did either. My hope was to be that, uh, my hope was that uh, through being on the show, I would be able to pull the show back more toward uh, the actual flesh and blood of the 1980s and less from the uh, sort of CGI uh, 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 experience, which, uh, which uh, I found to be quite different than my own experience earlier on. Why do you think that show failed? Um, that's beyond my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> I actually know the answer to that. Did you watch it, Did you watch it before getting cast? I'm, I'm not a good audience for anything that I'm in. I never am. I, I, uh, uh, I remember, um, uh, people asking me those questions before about my, uh, my own involvement in V, and I have to say, I usually was so busy either making that project or moving on to the next 
that I rarely had time to actually see what it was that we made, except in those days we used to see what were known as the dailies or the rushes. Mm -hmm. And so I, I might have seen some of it or when I was doing some looping or some additional dialogue recording. But, but basically, there are, there are many of these shows that I really have never yeah. even seen. <laughs> uh, uh, they, they didn't honor the original series, and I think uh -huh. that was the biggest problem with that, with yeah, that, with that show. That. I was a huge fan of it. I, I used to... I used to play you when, when it was recess.